so you know this is gonna be a love message i feel like something good is gonna happen and then ten of cups on the end of on the bottom of the deck so there's something good that's about to start taking place for you like that is bringing in um happiness joy well-being Whoa! Well, like your first card is the ten of swords and listen i was not expecting that it just the ten of swords is like it's a lot and it just makes me feel like there there was a lot that you didn't know or you weren't in control of a lot that was going on or you were subjected to you didn't know what was going on sort of like out there or even within yourself within your family within your feelings and your romance life could be affecting your financial situation as well. But we did start out this message, beautiful soul, by saying I have a good feeling about something. I really do have a good feeling about something coming up that is going to be bringing you feelings of happiness and restoration. We start out though with the Ten of Swords. It's something about lies. Something like lies or franchise. You see, there was a guilty person. Someone was guilty. I'm telling you, someone. And this person could be an ex or a family member. If this person was guilty because they were you in their feelings regarding or disregarding you and your, <clears throat> like your prosperity. You know, someone was probably gossiping about you, spreading fibs, laughing at you, all kind of things. But this person's day is coming. So this is something that was probably like trying to drag you down or block you in some way, shape or form. Because you didn't believe that what you were doing was good enough, was good. It was, it, it was worthy to be put up on stage to be like displayed because i feel like when you put yourself out there they were nonchalant or they were talking behind your back or laughing at you and these were people that were supposed to love you and celebrate you and encourage you for you putting yourself out there but instead it's like they shamed you they made either they didn't like any of your posts you know like i just big up a loyal supporter these people were like the opposite they were more loyal to like ridiculing you not supporting you like you put your work out there and it's like <clears throat> let's say you make a a recipe and you like cooking and it's christmas time and you you start you decided to write recipes or something like that and no one none of no one really engaged with your recipes or your methods no family or friends they probably slandered you instead i'm telling you like when you look at it it's like wow unbelievable and i'm trying to figure out why they would why it's like they intentionally deliberately made a conscious decision you know to turn their backs or to ignore you or to not treat you with any sympathy when it came to your your vision and your work on self and whatever you're working on and putting out there and so i think like most high energy is saying you you always like urged you or prodded you to continue believing that you were beautiful you were good enough but the it's like the people or the environment that you were around or sending out to they just they probably just want didn't want you to feel like you're being received for some reason i don't know i don't know i don't know because maybe what you're doing is something that would um cause them to grow or change or bring um prosperity in your hands money into your hands or well-being or even love so that is why when those are some of the reasons why these people n didn't like go out and support you so it's not that what you were doing was not beautiful and wonderful spectacular good enough Literally, I'm seeing your angels and your spirit team celebrating with you because they know that what you are creating is the best. They're standing on the sidelines and they're happy with you. They're excited. They're watching you. Like, let's say you have this, this kitchen, master kitchen or whatever, and 
you're doing your thing, your work. Your angels are excited because they see that you are skillful. You're naturally talented. Something about being buoyant. You're naturally gifted, clever at what you do. But then when you're done and you present to these <clears throat> like people around you in some way, shape, or form, it is as if they are... They like disregard it or they just don't see the beauty in your art. But it's like most I is like thrilled by your work of art. But it's like these people, it's like they don't see the beauty in it. You know what I'm saying? I guess you have a different mindset than these people. You know, it's like they're not able to appreciate your type of art. And it's it's like a work of art, you know. It's like ex it's exquisite but let us see let us see vanity vanity maybe what they're looking for is something that is going to boost up their ego but maybe what you provide is something that is able to relate is able to this 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 um translate feelings into art and then I think God thinks it's beautiful because most guys like, whoa, you are definitely my youth. You are definitely my child. Look how you take something and you put it into something and you made me feel like I know what you're saying. If most I appreciate your work of art. But let us see. I hear candid. Maybe you are a truth teller. You know what I'm saying? Something about bauxite or bauxite. You are a truth teller. Some of them don't like the work that you do. Because you're a bad, you know what, full of life, love, and possibilities. Some of them may think you're doing too much. Through this deck, may you find a path to your best self. So you were like running and chasing after your dreams, believing in yourself, so powerful and passionate. But then when you look at these people, it's cold stares and, mm -mm, and monotonous responses and um it's like you, you probably have you just didn't expect you thought that they would be hyped up about the message or your production or your service but it is as if you had to be sort of like stressing them out to pay you some attention some of them deliberately this is the eight of swords outrightly dismissed you told you to go put that thing down change your mind go to sleep go to bed go around the corner I told you this message is going to be a little bit candid, but you know, I'm going to speed it up a little. Enlightenment. This is about something that you must know. Father wants you to know that it is not that your work was not beautiful, not good enough. And you're going to be seen in the right places. You're going to see and be like around a group of people that love and appreciate your unique expression of art. And they really, really do. These people really do. Look, they're going to adore your special creation or your art. Because whatever you do is some is from within them too. And this is where you are meant to be. Strength. So your acts like not to give up. <clears throat> to continue being courageous. To continue living your truth. Okay? Strong with the grief energy. Just feel like not a lot of people are like strong or tr choose to be strong, intentional, committed, um, believing in their vision and dream, having faith. And it's not that you weren't doing the good, right, best, uh, most honorable, beautiful thing. It's just that it was the, not the right state or place or people or something of the sort. But do not despair, miracle. Do not despair. <clears throat> okay? Growth and world card. Changes come in. And also be prepared because you see this new group of people that you're going to be um, with that do appreciate your art. They're going to demand of you more. Okay? More. You think what you've been doing was a lot you're going to have to, there's going to be, like, people are going to want more of you. They're going to want to know more of, you, like, your godlike potential. They're going to want you to do more of the things that you've been barely doing. It's going to be, like, to these people, 
the, the new people that are going to be appreciating your work, it's going to be like you barely started. You hear me? They're going to want more of yourself, more of your creation, more of your work. They're going to want you to do better, go deeper. These people are going to cause you to level up, grow, become more skilled, more passionate, more talented, to see the finer art of your self. So you're going to be molded just by the, the need of these people for your production coming out. So it's going to require more of yourself. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be working with some boss energies. You're going to like soar, I feel like. So you're going to need that strength because you're going to grow, go, grow bigger and have a lot of success and go places. So this is going to be developing you greater. You think like... You're going to sit and look and feel like this is what I've been asking for. The times when I felt unappreciated. This is what being appreciated really feels like. People wanting me and what I offer more of me. And I have to bring out my best self every time. So this is going to take your well-being commitment. But it's beautiful because people be wanting more of you. And I feel success like something you're really pulling off. Something you're really getting to live and fulfill destiny. You know, four of swords, service. So just be mindful and take it easy with yourself, but learn and grow, empower yourself, be courageous. Have your, like your, your tagline, what it is that you're doing this for. Remember and strengthen it because more is coming. So be prepared for that. Alright. So love you. Take it easy out there. On the bottom of the deck. We have the, the ten of cups. This is going to be like more than you asked for. Better than you believed it would be. This is going to bring you so much joy. Happiness. Success. Elation. Gratitude. Good momentum. And this is when you start to realize that. What you were doing was perfect. It was beautiful. It was good enough. It was a, It's a blessing. It is. So even though it takes a lot of work, you love fulfilling this mission every time. Because now you're feeding your passion by catering to those who admire and appreciate your love or the work that you do very much. Because you know when somebody loves something, they're going to want more of it. And I feel like you may do a lot of things on your own. Alright, so take it easy. All is well. All is within you. More is to come. And I'll catch you in the next one. All of your support is appreciated. So thanks very much for considering liking this video. Hitting the, subs the red subscribe button for more messages like this one. Share out the messages. And uh, leaving your comments, etc., etc. Big up yourselves.